Afternoon Domino. Today I want to bring you a video where I want to talk about creating fights and manipulating those fights so you can gain the upper hand. In the video we're about to watch, it's actually going to cover about 10 minutes, so I'm going to speed it up uh, to twice the speed. Really, for the most part, once the fights themselves go down, it's very straightforward. Um, I'm in a Saber here, which is a Tech 2 version of the Thrasher. It's just like some of the other fights you saw where we're able to cast uh, bubbles. So the Saber can actually cast a, uh, a s somewhat smaller bubble, but it's good enough to catch people coming through smaller gates. So the enemies are two Russians that uh, I've been messing with. Um, on this gate all morning and I killed a lot of their buddies so eventually they come back in force and they want to try to force me off this gate and this is pretty much what I'm what I'm looking to do uh, when I'm out looking for fights is just kinda keep poking around messing with people until they put together a good fight and pretty much all those ganks will eventually become a pretty good combat experience so I'm gonna start the fight here and we'll talk through it so here we're gonna have two pirate frigates jumping into me uh, called the Worm. They're actually missile um, focused and they have light drones as well and their light drones are what's really going to do the most damage and they're going to do great damage against me. So we have the first one jump in here and at this point I don't realize that there's a second one coming along the way but there's a second one jumping in right there. So I go ahead and I try to get a hold of this guy but he aggresses me here and just like I had talked about in the last fight if you don't aggress you can go back through the gate. So at this point what I'm trying to do is split them up. The one guy put a point on me, so he's aggressed, and now his buddy's split up, and I've got a minute alone with this guy. And he lands well within scram and web range, and I'm just going to sit point blank, and I'm going to wreck this guy. I mean, destroyers versus frigates, I mean, you have to know what you're doing in a frigate to really take on a destroyer here and win. You're, you're going to want an, an ace up your sleeve, more or less. So that kill right there, plus the pod, that's about... Uh, probably close to 200 mil and after you know just getting small kills on morning it's, this is pretty much what you can kind of look forward to to try to entice out of people because eventually people will get mad and their buddies are calling for help so right now he, I'm here uh, I'm sitting in the gate I've got scouts on both sides and I know the other guy's still sitting on the gate and I know he's wanting to come through and aggress his buddy so the issue is, is if I don't get a, a hold of these guys they're actually faster than me and once they get out of range, I, for the most part, won't be able to catch them. If I do catch them, I'll have eaten their drone damage throughout the entire trip. So by the time I get a hold of them, I have to be able to DPS them down while still tanking the rest of their damage. So ideally, I'm going to get right on top of them. And I'm, I'm only going to engage if I know I can get tackle. So this guy's burning out, and I'm going to make, I'm going to burn away. And he drops point there. I'm aligning out to a safe spot, and I'm going to leave. But these guys are committed right now, so I know they want to fight. They're trying to hunt me down. I warp out and back in, and you see here I landed at 8 kilometers. And overheating everything, I'm going to get right on top of him, and I'm going to kill this guy here. And at this point, the first worm comes back in another one, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to get this pod here. I'm going to align out. I'm going to start pulling range from the guy. Because at this point, he, he thinks he's you know he's in a good orbit. I'm not going to be able to get him. And my shields are going down. So I'm going to warp off. And there's actually a, a fair bit of isk on the field there in the loot. There was some faction gear that dropped. And his buddy's trying to pick, pick it up. And actually, he's probably trying to pick up his own gear too. So I'm going to keep warping back. And I'm going to try to land on top of this guy again. And just pull the same maneuver. And this is all about just taking the fight that you want. So here Dune had actually jumped in in one of our Instalock Thrashers, and he gets a volley off on him, but without having the prop mod to get himself back to the gate, he's kind of just sitting out in the open here. So Dune's actually going to go down in the Thrasher, but it's going to be very much worth the trade because the Thrasher is very cheap compared to both of these, or now three worms. So here I've landed, he's 30 kilometers off again. But I want him to come through, and you'll see he's going to dive in on me because he, he doesn't want me to get away. He saw me get away once, so now he, he's getting overconfident. He gets too close there. I haven't aggressed, so I go ahead and I jump through. I'm going to reapproach the gate on this side, and it's basically like I've completely reset the fight at this point. 
he's going to have to wait a minute so he can get through. And here's the first guy. The first guy actually comes back in a Vagabond, which is a heavy assault cruiser that is excellent at taking out smaller targets like destroyers and frigates. So as soon as this guy lands, again, I'm going to have to split them up because there's no way I'll be able to tank both. I've actually, at this point, already lost one saber to a Vagabond earlier today. So just like before, this guy's going to land. I'm not going to do anything yet, just to give him a chance. <clears throat> He's not going to one-shot me. So he points me right here. And I'm able to jump back through. And see, this guy, he doesn't want to let me go. So he's going to come right for me. And here's I'm going to make him pay for it. I'm just going to get right on top of him. He's going to try to fly right by. But his momentum's going to carry him into me. And I have him right here. And with the overheated scram and web, I'm going to be right back on him. And he's about to lose another worm. And the pod. So right there, that's... Three pods, three pirate fraction, um, faction frigates, and it was worth about 0.5 billion. A few minutes later, the VAG shows up at our base along with uh, the original, um, the second pilot, and they're in multiple cruisers, and they ended up trying to camp me in the station, and I got overconfident, much like you saw the worm getting overconfident there, and I took one of my sacrileges out, which you saw me fight the sign ball the other day, and they actually successfully take down the sacrilege because it was just too much damage up front. So I hope you learned something from this video. And if you ever want to talk more, just let me know. Thanks.